How's it going? This is Sherrod Seward and Pride with Oakhurst Legal Group. And we are the leaders of the sports immigration practice and also our social media practice. Yes, that's a thing. Today, we're going to be talking about O-1 visas for influencers. Absolutely, absolutely. We are having a whole lot of calls nowadays uh, with a lot of candidates that are interested uh, to get the O visa as influencers. Now, Sherry, can you tell us exactly what influencers are? Yeah, so influencers are, well, they're pretty much entrepreneurs at their base, but their service happens to be promoting themselves by making content or, you know, maybe even, you know, taking pictures, modeling on social media. So it's not something that occurs usually on TV, but something that is occurring on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and things like that. So what requirements, what requirements would they need? Right. So it's a bit nuanced because um, there's, what, while they're going to get an O-1 visa, ultimately, there's O-1A and there's O-1B. So if somebody is more of an entrepreneur and doesn't necessarily broadcast themselves to their market, for example, if they get on you know, YouTube, like this will be on YouTube and they post themselves, they'll be more likely in the O-1B category. However, if they promote content, like so say if they make um, you know, webinars and they have screen shares with that, that might fit more into the O-1A. The difference is with the O-1A, we're gonna show a lot more about the work product itself. How much money does it make? How much is it contributing to its uh, industry that they're talking about? If it's an O-1B, we're gonna be focusing on where it's featured. For example, how many YouTube hits is it getting? How much uh, Instagram followers there are? Um, what's the exclusive club of other influencers that have been given those opportunities? Say, for example, Fashion Nova is a very uh, well-regarded um, fashion brand where they have some of the most beautiful people in the world model their clothes. To be selected and included in that group fits well into the O-1B process. Now, the, uh, let's talk about the content, their content. Is it, is it supposed to be original content or are they able to just, um, you know, mimic someone else's content and just present it in their own way? Right. Yeah. So, I mean, it could really be either one. Um, it just depends on what category. So say if it's something to where they're doing reaction videos to content that already exists, that would be probably more appropriate for the O1B category because you're, you're looking at the views and things like that. Now, if they're making their own content, that would be better for the O1A category that has original contributions as part of the eligibility questions. Oh, great. How about the processing time? Is it the same? Yeah, yeah, so the processing time um, is the same. Regular processing, you're looking at three uh, to four, I'll say three to five months average right now uh, for a regular processing O1. And for premium processing, USCIS has to get um, responses in within 15 days. Now, one of the things that uh, is important about the structure of filing is a petitioner. So a lot of times content creators are very independent um, and they're always kind of shocked when you find out, oh, I have to have a petitioner uh, to work with on this. What is a petitioner? To file an O-1 visa, you have to have somebody that's either a US company or a US citizen or permanent resident to sign the immigration forms. Now, this entity or person does not have to be your employer. And most of the time with social media influences, it, it isn't. So they just kind of sign your immigration forms and assert that the information in the petition is true. And from there, the way we structure the visas, you're allowed to work for multiple employers, do multiple projects for three years, un un uninterrupted using the same visa. And it's something that's very, very important for somebody that's a social media influencer that has to get their clients from different places and uh, not have to get a different visa every time they do it. Great, great. And I should add that Oakhurst okay, Legal Group offers petitioner services for those who cannot find a petition otherwise, correct? Uh, that's correct. We do have a 01 I-129 petitioner service that's used by 
a lot of uh, very famous people to serve as the petitioner. And it's great for them because they know we're gonna stay out their way and let them do uh, whatever they, they, they want to do legally uh, within um, the confines of their industry uh, that we applied for their visa. So it works great, it's complete service turnaround and um, we're, we're developing quite a niche with the social media influencer community. We love it. Great, great, great. So if there are other influencers out there, um, they should be contacting us because we've handled a whole lot of them and we are really good at it. That's true. So if you have any questions, just do not hesitate to uh, email the firm or give us a call. The one of the phone, we have a couple of phone numbers, but the one I'll give today is 704-243-8178. Have a good one. Thank you.